Hello and welcome to another episode of Goma Goya. Today we are going to see how to shop in Indian stores in the US. So if you look at it, you know, you have a lot of parents, dads and moms who are thinking about how you eat, how you, you know, go and shop in the US. That's what I'm going to show you today. So we are entering, taking a cart and entering into Patel Brothers. um and you know you can see a lot of these dal varieties and rice and all that we go into vegetable section first to see the vegetables that are available starting with the tomatoes and then going into the cauliflowers the cauliflowers cost 2 dollars a piece so that's crazy expensive if you look at it it's 150 rupees in indian money i'm keeping it back because uh, i can't spend that much for a cauliflower and you look at the spinach pricing that's about 2 dollars as well i don't want to eat spinach for 2 dollars that would be terrible uh, of an idea for me to do that so you can look at the different vegetables that are available some of these vegetables i know the names for some of these i don't you can see some bell peppers you know different colors of bell peppers this is the fruit section you have lychees you have uh, you know many other things and oh, eggplants like uh, multiple vegetables you can pick what you like you can just throw it into your cart and some beetroots as well um, we all eat healthy here you know if your parents are wondering what's happening and relatives are wondering what's happening this is all the stuff you get here in the US made either in the US or in Mexico there's also a snack section where you could get like samosa or puff or whatever you like and then the ketchup section for the ketchup for just eating it along with your samosa a lot of people eat that so that cart is empty basically And then you're going in and seeing other things. You know, this is a whole section of pickles from all over India. Even if you were in India, you wouldn't get this much variety of pickles. You can see the different brands that are available. You have Nirapara, you have Double Horse, you have multiple different brands. Swad is their own brand. So they packet a lot of the items on the brand called Swad. and put it all into the shelves so you have all kinds of dals all kinds of lentils spices whatever you like i'm just going rack by rack seeing what's all there some red chilies and of course you know you have some coriander powder these are all basic things that you would want for indian cooking and then some um, tamarind and asafoetida these are all you know basic cooking kasuri methi for north indian cooking and all kinds of masala masala dabas that you would want um for your cooking at home and you have jaggery you have boost bone vita horlicks whatever you like we're picking up a bone vita for 5 bucks thank you 5 bucks is almost about 300 rupees and we have some ready to eat stuff if you want to eat which we don't typically so we wouldn't pick those items and then you have some sweets um and this is the favorite part of the show which is going into the snack section and seeing what's all there and if you all remember your school days you can see picnic you can see peppy you can see lays kurkure all of that's available here right in the US uh, cost about a dollar for the bigger packets and 50 cents for the smaller ones you also have some south indian snacks from grand sweets if you would like that um and yeah you have different selections and last but not the least you have some parachute oil you have move you have patanjali you have ayurveda all kinds of stuff whatever you would find in an indian supermarket you can find it here so that was the overall experience however we are going into the last section where you can see some 
uh, roti flour or beet flour. They also have vessels, you know, the hot packs that we all use when we pack lunches from childhood. Uh, then some lunch boxes, some other vessels. You know, they have fantastic uh, variety of selections, some pressure cookers and going into the frozen section where you can pick some coconuts up if you want some paratas or you know if you want some frozen green peas you could pick any of those and there is a full section for this frozen variety of products um, then the last section will be the rice where you can see all kinds of rice from north india from south india if you want to make biryani and uh, can do multiple things then we checked out for about 50 bucks which is about 4000 rupees in Indian money so this was a great experience I would suggest uh, you guys watch this video thank you and like share and subscribe